Do you know what the worst school shooting as far as number of people killed was? It was Virginia Tech. Do you know what the guy used to kill 32 people? 32 people. He didn't use this. He used this. 32 people with this. So if you stop this, if you ban this, and that's gone, 32 people right here. That means banning the AR-15 does not stop mass shootings, massacres. Okay? Here's the other thing. They keep saying the word semi-automatic, semi-automatic. And when you guys hear that because you're ignorant on the subject, you're uneducated on the subject, and I don't mean that in a mean way, but you are uneducated on the subject. When you hear semi-automatic rifle, you think, that's what you think. The movies help you to have this uneducated view on firearms. Hollywood has gotten guns wrong pretty much the entirety of its existence. The entirety of its existence. This is an AR-15 and it is a semi-automatic rifle. This is a semi-automatic handgun. This is a semi-automatic handgun. This is a semi-automatic handgun. Get the picture here. Semi-automatic only means that you have to pull the trigger every time to get a bullet. It's not fully automatic. See, when you hear semi-automatic, you think they're saying fully automatic because you don't know what that term means. So when you hear semi-automatic, all you hear is automatic, not the semi. This gun does not go Burr! And that's what you think is happening at these mass shootings. You think somebody's going in there, they're holding the trigger down, they're going Burr! And then 50 people are dead. And that's not what's happening. They have to pull the trigger every single time to get a bullet. The same way you have to do with the handgun and virtually every other gun in existence. You have to pull the trigger and keep pulling it to get it to keep firing. There's not many guns used today that are not semi-automatic. Virtually every handgun is semi-automatic. Virtually every uh, um, self-defense rifle is semi-automatic. Okay, There's some bolt guns, bolt action uh, in hunting and whatnot. You got lever action and this, that, and the other. However, in the 1960s, a man killed 17 people with a bolt-action rifle in Texas up at the top of a tower at a college. There's a documentary on it called Tower. Go ahead and give it a look. So a guy with a bolt-action can take out 17 people. A guy with a handgun, just a normal, regular handgun, can take out 32 people at a college. And somebody uses an AR-15 and takes out 17 people at a high school or a college or wherever. Removing this doesn't stop the problem. I'm not saying this because I I want to keep my AR. Don't you don't you touch it. Leave it alone. That's not what this is about. The reason why people in the gun community keep trying to tell you that the AR-15 is not the issue is because we know that the actual issue, what it is and what we need to do to start fixing that problem, but we can't do it. We can't fix the problem because you guys keep focusing on this. And as long as you keep focusing on the guns, it will continue to happen. It will not stop. It will not stop. I'll give you another example. From 1994 to 2004, we had an assault weapons ban. So this was illegal. From 1994 to 2004, this was illegal. So we've done this already. You want to know what happened inside those 10 years? Columbine. 
Remember that? That was like the first big school shooting that most of us remember. It wasn't the very first one, but it's the first big one that most of us remember that shocked the entire country. There was no AR-15s involved. There was an assault weapons ban. And yet they killed 17 people died in Columbine. The same amount at Parkland with no AK-47. You mean no AK, no AR-15s, no AK-47, and that number can still happen? Yes, and will is the point that we're trying to make to you. In 1996, there was what was called the North Hollywood shootout, where two guys armed with AK-47s had a 44-minute shootout with the police, shot 19 people, cops and and. Uh, uh, civilians alike. This happened during the assault weapons ban. When they were illegal, it still happened. Why did it still happen? It's pretty easy. These guns will be available on the street no matter how much you restrict them from law-abiding citizens. If you take it away from me, the bad guy's still going to have it. If you can't stop drugs from coming in this country, if you can't stop the influx of drugs, you cannot stop the influx of guns. Now, if you can, if you can stop drugs, if you can make it so that there will never be another illegal drug in this country again tomorrow, then you would have the same ability to stop the guns, but you can't. That's not the reality. That's not the reality. You can't stop the bad guys from having these. So when you make these laws, all you are doing, all you are doing is saying to someone like me, who's a law-abiding citizen, who's no different than the 22-year-old man who saved everyone at the mall during the mass shooting, stopped him. He wasn't the only one. A woman stopped uh, a mass shooting in West Virginia a couple months ago with her handgun, stopped the guy with an AR-15. Happened in Texas at a church twice. Guy went in, shot a bunch of people in the church. Law-abiding citizen with his AR-15 came out and stopped that man from killing more people in the church. Another one, a guy had a shotgun, shot two people. And when he did that, someone armed with a handgun shot that guy right there so that he didn't kill any more people in that church. He stopped the mass shooting. It happens all the time. You're thinking to yourself, it never happens. Want to know why? Because they don't report on it. Just because they don't report on it doesn't mean it's not happening. It's happening. It's been happening. Since the beginning of these mass shootings, people have been stopping them. But when you make it so hard and restrict our rights, then when a mass shooting happens in New York, a mass shooting happens in California, a mass shooting happens in New Jersey, a mass shooting happens in D.C. or Maryland, those guys got their hands tied behind their back. A good guy can't stop them because you, you're, you're restricting them, telling them that they're the bad guys. While the bad guys are still doing the crimes. And the good guy is just his arm to tie behind his back and he can't defend himself or anybody else. I got a lot more information for you. I can break this down for you. We can get into uh, the entire world when it comes to guns and whatnot. You've been lied to about that as well. And I can show you all the, all the data, all the information. All we are saying is gun owners and people who hate guns alike want to stop mass shootings. Nobody wants it. Nobody likes it. We all want it to stop. We all cry. We cry together. We, we yell together. We get angry together. We search for solutions together. But where we separate is when the solution is ban the gun when we know, hey, we did that already. That doesn't work. It doesn't stop mass shootings. The reason mass shootings happen, and not just mass shootings, gun violence, period. 
It has nothing to do with this gun. Ban it tomorrow, they will still happen. 32, school record, it's sickening, but it happened with this. This, not this, but this. If we can get past this and realize this isn't the issue, we can actually save lives. But until you keep focusing on this, and even if you were to ban it, it's still going to happen. And at that point, you have wasted everyone's time. And in the meantime, people are dying and the blood's on your hands.